Hey everybody, if you have a Soundcraft UI24 and you're trying to use it as your main audio output for everything on your PC, but you're not sure how to do that, I'm gonna show you how, right now. Let's go! Before I show you how to set up the output, you need to make sure you have the USB driver downloaded for your mixer. To do that, you're gonna to come to the Soundcraft website, under products, you're gonna to go to Mixers, UI Series, UI24R. Now over here on the right, you're gonna click on Downloads, and then down here, under Other Software, you're gonna find the multi-channel USB audio driver setup. Download that and install it, and then come on back here. So I'm assuming you already know how to interface with your mixer on your computer. If you don't, I'm gonna have a video that shows you how to do just that. If you're not seeing it down there yet, it'll be there soon, but it'll be linked both here and down there when it's ready. So keep your eye out for that if you need it. So here we are looking at our typical interface. Now you can ignore what my channels are named down here. We'll get to that in a second. But you're seeing all your channels. You can scroll left and right and see everything you need to see. Great, but how do we actually get audio from our PC into the mixer and then out through the speakers that we have connected to the main left and right out of that mixer? So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to your PC's audio output. So you can actually click down here on the speaker icon and you can choose from the drop down any output that you need. The other way to do this is to right click and go to sound settings. And then you can do the same thing here, choose your output device. So all the outputs to this mixer show is stereo pairs. You can see that I've got line out 25, 26, 7, 8. They don't go in order, which is a little bit confusing. Your mileage may vary, but mine are very much out of order. You can choose any two stereo outputs you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to 31, 32. Just because it's the way I like to do things. I like to throw my PC output all the way at the end. So I choose 31 and 32. So you scroll down the list until you find it. Here's mine, and that's what I'm going to choose. Again, you can do that from the speaker icon down here. Just by clicking on it, you get the drop down, and then you can scroll through the list of your output devices and choose whatever line out you want. Again, I'm choosing 31, 32. So what that means is the PC is using the USB connection to send signal down that USB cable out to the mixer. And it's going to go out on USB channels 31 and 32. Great, so what do we do with that information? So now we come to the mixer part. Again, here are all your channels. You can name them anything you want. And the really important thing you need to understand about this mixer is even though you've got channels one, two, three, four down here at the bottom, you don't have to use them for inputs one, two, three, four in that order. You can put any input on any channel strip you want in any order you want. You can also limit what you're seeing. So if you come over here to view groups and you click and you hold, it brings you into the view group button assignment. You can choose whichever view group you want. In this case, I've chosen two and I've selected only two channels, which I have named PC left and PC right. They happen to be channel strip three and four, but they could be one, two, they could be five, six, they could be nine, 10, it could be anything I want. So you choose what you want, you come out of this window, and then under your view groups, you select the button that corresponds to the one that you set up. I did number two, so I'm gonna click on two, and here you can see I only have two channels. This just helps us focus on what we're doing. So remember, we chose output 31 and 32 from the computer, so I have to tell these two channel strips to look at USB DAW 31 and 32. You can see I already have that showing. But how do I get there? Well, select the channel you wanna edit, so we'll choose PC left, come up to edit, and then instead of local or USB A or Cascade or Masters, we're gonna choose USB DAW, and we're gonna tell it what slot to look at. So obviously on the left side, I want slot 31, so I choose 31. Then I can come down here, click on PC right, and choose slot 32. Now that I've done that, anything I play for my computer is going to show up right here, and it's going to go out of my main left right into my speakers. That's how you do it. Now that I've shown you how to do it, let's actually see it in action. So you can see here I've loaded up a video and we can actually see signal 
coming into my two channels. So that means we've set it up correctly. So now let's bring it up and see if it shows up in our speakers. Fully understand the concept. I like there to it is. this way. I can think of the aux as a bucket. There you and go. The reason I do this is because it's an intermediary. So there you go. We know it's working. Now that you know how to do this, that might also help you if you have other audio devices connected and you weren't sure how to get signal to them. You are literally choosing from your speaker icon what output you want to send your PC audio to, or you can choose to go into your sound settings and select your audio output device that way as well. Anything you have connected that allows you to send audio from your computer out to speakers or another device, this is where you're gonna find it listed. So there you go, now you know how to send your audio out from your PC to your UI24 and have it come out the speakers that you have attached. And of course, once it's in your mixer, you can send it anywhere else you want through your physical outputs. If you need to send an aux mix out to somewhere else, you can do that. Just take those two channels and send them out to your aux. Anyway, I hope this was interesting, entertaining, educational. If it was any of those three things, please like and share and subscribe, all the usual stuff. You can always check us out on Patreon or you can join the channel down below or you can even do a super thanks down below. Anything helps the channel out in a huge, huge way and thanks to everybody who's already contributed with their likes and their shares and their subscriptions. It's really appreciated. Anyway, until we see you next time, thanks for watching here on Quickies. Bye everybody.